One storyline that unfolded late last night was the right calf injury suffered by Josh Donaldson, who already has spent a significant amount of time on the injured list this year. He was placed on the AIL today as expected, and a little while ago, Aaron Boone was asked what the level of concern is regarding Donaldson's injury. His answer provides our quote of the day presented by Toyota. Enough that, you know, we knew he was going on the IL without the without even the MRI. So, uh, you know, we'll see at what level and 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 then go from there. But I know, you know, it wasn't great uh, in the moment. Do you think this is going to be something where it's past the 10 days? I, I mean, I would think. Um, but let's let's see what we got to later on in the afternoon and, and we'll see. Peraza, the obvious choice. Sorry, Chris. Was Peraza the obvious choice for you guys to bring up? Yeah, I mean, we just discussed a little bit, but we all were, you know, pretty, pretty resolute on Oswald. And, um, you know, the biggest thing with bringing up Peraza is, you know, you want to feel like he's going to play, and uh, you know, there should be, should be plenty of playing time for him. How do you envision Well, I mean, kind of like Donaldson, like, you know, the, the piece, you know, he. he Obviously, can play a couple more positions, but I mean, you can you can picture an avenue where he's playing most of the time. How has the organization assessed his work at third base this year? He hasn't played a ton of third base, um, but I've been pleased with it. Um, he's pretty gifted in the infield, so he can, you know, obviously a really good shortstop. But um, from what I've seen from him, just in moving him around in spring training, um, you know, how he's done down there. He's a, he's a natural infielder. And, um, so I don't, I don't really have many concerns about it. But he'll play, you know, give Anthony a day here. Glaber will get a day. You know, DJ will obviously keep moving around depending, use the DH. Um, so, you know, he'll, I think he'll be fine. Is he here yet? He's not. I don't think he's here quite yet. I think he's landed. Okay, so you yeah. expect him to be an option in the game? Yeah, I do expect him to be an option in the game. Seve's pitching tomorrow and not Tuesday? Yes. I misspoke. Yeah. Sorry. So what, what are you uh, looking to see from him tomorrow? And how much do you think this downtime combined with a couple of bullpens can maybe help him? Hopefully it's, hopefully it's been a good thing. Um, again, you know, he's healthy and, and – the, the stuff is all there, so it, it's about you know execution and, and making sure that um, you know hopefully hopefully the sides and the practice everything and um, you know some little adjustments in the delivery um, you know will will get them to that next level. Do you guys have anything like the Blue Jays have what they did with Manoa there? They had some kind of lab. Do you guys have anything like that where you could could take him away and just? Do what they did because he came back and had a good first start right now. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lab. So you did yeah. No, that's not on the table for us right now, no. Has everyone been talked about or no. 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 Adjustments to his delivery. Is that the only thing you really worked on over the break or was there anything else? Uh I think I think there's probably more to it than that. Uh, but again, like you're looking at a guy that's like is healthy and throwing well and it's Luis Severino so it's it's not like you know it's where's the power where's the stuff um, you know it's about tightening it up you know adding some deception to him and um, and then making some small adjustments that hopefully allow him to be consistent in his execution because that's what it comes down to.